combination of different security agencies pitched camp in and outside parliament, combing the premises to ensure the place was safe before the legislators sat this afternoon. The legislators arrived, some having added an extra bit of color to their dress. The police had strict instructions on the dress code and anyone not adhering to the rules had a hard time going past security. Okay, what is wrong with the banner? Yeah, but what is wrong with the banner? This is his workplace. I'm not, I'm not imitating him. I'm, yes. just, I'm, I'm just telling him what should be done that here. That what? This banner is not getting inside. But what's wrong with the banner? Honorable, please. What's wrong please. with the banner? What's wrong with the banner? It's not going beyond this point. What is wrong if with the banner? If you have that inside already? No, 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 no. The issue is not if you have the... I'm not going with it. I don't have it. As MP Odonga Oto made his way into a last-minute meeting with those opposed to the tabling of the motion on the presidential age limit, he met yet another roadblock. <laughs> Just as they are aware, because they have already started, uh -huh. let's see, we have the six and Which section, which section of the law prohibits any Ugandan from putting on a red thing? Which section? Just tell me the section, I remove it immediately. Some MPs who had earlier expressed fears for their safety had their bodyguards close by. After three hours of deliberating on their next move, the pro-age limit legislators headed into the parliamentary chambers for the plenary session, all decked out in uniform.